In this video, I'm going to be using this free plugin for WordPress to create a pricing page on my MemberPress site. This plugin does have a paid version, but everything I'm going to show you can be done with the free version. This is a good option if you want a different look than one found in the MemberPress default pricing page themes, but you don't want to have to build your own from scratch or get a WordPress page builder involved. It's just a really quick way to make a pricing table. I have my sample baking membership site here. It's got some members only content and I have a sign up link already added to my navigation menu. And that goes to my group pricing page with the clean pricing page theme set up in MemberPress. So after I create my new pricing table, I'll make sure this link on my navigation is redirected to it instead of using this page here. So to get started for my WordPress dashboard, I'll go to plugins here on the left sidebar and click add new. Then I'll search for responsive pricing table. It's this one right here by WP Darko. I'll click to install and activate it on my site. Once that's done, you'll notice this item here on the left sidebar, pricing tables. I'll click that and then add new. Then I'll give it a name of basic and pro. And then first over here, I'll set the currency I want to display before my prices, a dollar sign. Then when someone clicks the sign up button under each membership, I'll set it to open in the same window. And then here under text settings, you'll have some options to change the appearance of your pricing table. For this video though, I'll just use what's set by default. Now I'll click add pricing plan. Now I'll make the price box for my basic membership. I'll give it a name, the subtitle I want. I'll set the price. Then I'll click add feature to add my features or what people get with the membership, recipes and videos. Then I want my button text to be sign up. And here I'll paste the URL for the registration page of my individual memberships. So I'll come over here to memberships under MemberPress and open it in a new tab. Then I'll copy the link to my basic membership registration page here. Then I'll go back to the plugin and paste it here. And then here I'll choose a color for the button. Before I move on, I'll click instant preview here to see what it looks like so far. I like that, so I'll close the preview. You could tweak what your table says in the colors and then keep previewing until you get what you like. Now I'll click clone here to make a copy of this table. Then I'll just change the information to reflect my pro membership. The name will be pro. I'll change the subtitle, then the price, and I'll modify the features. And on the button URL here, I'll swap basic for pro, which is my pro membership registration page. Then I'll click instant preview, and that looks good to me. Now I'll click publish to save it. Once it's saved, I see the short code generated for my pricing table. This is what I'll use to insert it into a page in my site. So I'll highlight it and click copy. Now I want to create a new page to display it on. I'll come over to pages on the left sidebar and click add new. I'll name this page sign up and I'll paste the short code here. Now you could add text or other blocks above or below your pricing table here, but I'll just keep it simple. I'll save the page. And then here under permalink, I'll copy this page URL. Now I'll go back to the WordPress dashboard and go to MemberPress and groups. And I'll click my group I set up earlier for my basic and pro memberships. See our knowledge base for more information on MemberPress groups if you aren't familiar. It's MemberPress's way of grouping memberships together and creating a pricing page where people can buy your memberships. That sign up link on my site navigation that we saw earlier links to this group pricing page URL here. But since I didn't use one of MemberPress's default pricing page themes here in the group settings, I'm going to choose to redirect the sign up link to the new page I just created. So down here under group options, I'm going to check disable pricing page. This will show this field here for alternate group URL. I'll paste the link to that signup page I created earlier. Then I'll click update to save this. Now I'll come up here and open my site. 
and click my sign up link. And you can see that it takes me to my new sign up page, my site slash sign up. And you can see my price boxes. So instead of taking me to my group pricing page, it redirected to my sign up page. And if I resize the browser window, you can see that it's responsive by changing its sizes and stacking. You've now seen how to create a pricing page using the responsive pricing table plugin. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.